Canada, uh, you know, there, there's been a lot of activity in Saskatchewan and Alberta. Um, you know, there is, uh, I'd have to uh, total it up quickly uh, in my mind, but, uh, you know, there's some something like 150 million feet a year uh, of production uh, right now in, in that order. Of, uh, there are a number of, uh, of plants. Uh, uh, North American Helium has five plants. Uh, as of their most recent press release, they're producing 110 million feet. Thor Resources has a plant that produces somewhere around 30 million feet a year. Uh, Canadian Helium uh, has a small plant. Uh, I think Royal Helium is is getting close to production. So yeah, it's been very active. Uh, the uh, government, especially in Saskatchewan, has been very supportive of uh, helium uh, production. Uh, they put together a, a plan to uh, uh, try to be uh, pr uh, producing 10% uh, of the world's helium, uh, I think by 2030. So, you know, th th there's been, uh, you know, an aggressive uh, effort to develop the helium industry in, uh, in uh, Canada. Uh, you know, it's, uh, is it uh, possible that that 10% goal could be achieved? Uh, it, you know, it's definitely a stretch, a stretch target, you know, that it, it's, uh, I don't think there's going to be like this one giant project, like when we talk about Cutter 4 or Moore or this company Blue Spruce that is trying to develop a big project in the U.S. Uh, Canada will uh, a large number of small projects, uh, and uh, you know that that makes it a little bit. Uh, you know, you can't point to this. Well, here's this one big reserve of helium in one place and we just need to build one plant to get to that goal. So it, it will take quite a lot of activity uh, uh, and continued support from the government to uh, to get to a, a pretty ambitious uh, goal. But they're doing they're doing well.